everyone, I'm Olivia and today I'm going to show you how to make my Christmas Lights Rainbow Loom Bracelet. I posted this on the Facebook page and everyone really seemed to like it, so I'm going to show you how to make it. It's actually just a different color variation of the Confetti crisscross Bracelet from Rainbow Loom. And if you need extra help with this pattern, you can search YouTube for the Confetti crisscross Tutorial or if you have the Lumitix Guide to Rainbow Loom, it's also in there. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're going to start out with your loom in just the original configuration, offset, just how it came from the factory. And to start out with, you are going to choose the color that you want your string of Christmas lights to be. In my bracelet, I chose a dark green for it, but you can make it in any color you want. So to do that, you're going to take your rubber bands. I hope you can see this because I'm trying to prop up the camera. I don't have anyone helping me hold this. So you're going to just start out right there in the end of the loom. You see that? Okay, and then you're just going to go forward. So, all the way till you get to the end of your loom. And you can do this on one loom, definitely. The bracelet that I had on Facebook was actually done on two looms and so you don't have to have as long of an extender but you can definitely do it on one loom. Today I'm just going to show you how to do it on one because it's faster and easier. If you're doing it on two you can just connect the other loom and just continue this pattern all the way down. So almost there. So you're going to get to the end and you're going to bring that last one in like so. And for the other side, it'll be, you've just done this side right here. Now for the top side, you're going to want to use clear. This is what's going to make it look like it's a string of Christmas lights. So you're going to take your clear bands. I really hope you can see those. They're kind of hard to see on the camera. And you're just going to take it at that first pin and bring it up and then do the exact same thing with this side. You're going to just take them straight all the way down, like so. All right, you're going to get that last one on. You're going to go ahead and push those down. And so you're just going to have the outline, the edges of your bracelet. Now for the next step, you are going to make little triangles like this going down one side of your bracelet. You're going to start on the left side of your loom. And these will all be clear because this is what makes the crisscross and the confetti crisscross. And you don't want that to show up because otherwise it will block out your Christmas lights. So you're going to take it. And, once again, hopefully you can see this because the clears are really hard to see. And you're just going to stretch it over in a triangle like that. And you're just going to, once again, do the same thing all the way down. Make sure that the two triangles overlap like so. And you're just going to repeat that all the way till you get to the end of your loom. Right, and when you've got it done all the way, it should look like that. And now you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're going to do it on the other side, like on these three pins, and just work your way up. Same thing, just on the right side of your loom. And we'll cross over in the middle, so those two triangles are going to meet. Just be the exact same way you did the other side. And these will all be clear bands as well. Okay, and then when you get to the end, it's going to look like that. Oh, I forgot something. Um, on your end here, you're going to want to put a cap band 
So usually that's just the first part when you do the outline, but since I forgot, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, I used a green for the cat band. I'm just going to take it and wrap it around twice. And so that's on the end of your loom. And for the next part, you get to choose the color of your Christmas lights. And you can use any color Christmas lights you want, but I am going to use yellow, red, blue, a lighter kind of neon green, and an orange. And to do this, you're going to start not on the very first pin, but on the second pin, and every pin up till this last one, excluding this last one, you're going to take and make your light. You're going to wrap this around four times, and it does get kind of hard, so there's two, three, and four, and they're just kind of going to push it down, like so, and you're going to repeat for, oops, for every single color that you want. All right, so this is how it should look once you have all your bands placed on. You're going to have your green down here for the actual, like the strand of Christmas lights, and then you're going to have clear triangles on both sides. This side will be clear, and then you have your little colored light bulbs going down the middle. So now you're going to loop it. Your first step when you loop it is to go well, first of all, you're going to flip it around. That would help. Um, you're going to go under these that you've wrapped four times to make the, the light bulbs. And you're going to catch that top triangle. You're going to take that down. And you're going to hook it over both of these on the outside that you'd originally put it over. Once again, you kind of have to be careful with this because it does put a lot of stress on the band. I found that the official Rainbow Loom brand ones are going to be the strongest and sturdiest. Um, so it would probably be best if you do this with like the Rainbow Loom rubber bands because they're less likely to break. So you're just going to keep hooking those over. It's kind of tricky when you use the clear ones because they're hard to see. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side with these other triangles. So this is what it should look like after you hook it. So you're just going to take those over. And so once you have both of the triangles hooked, that's what it's going to look like. And now for the last step, you're going to just do the border around the outside. So you're going to go under this green cap band and the first one you're going to be doing is the clear one because that's on top. So you're going to take the clear one, pull it up like that. 
And now you're just going to loop straight down the sides like so. It's pretty straightforward from here on out. And when you get to the end here, I'm going to take this one and hook it to the center pin. And you're just going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. All right, and now you're finished with the actual looping of the bands. And that's what it's gonna look like. So you're going to take whatever color you want to. Uh, I use green just so it kind of looks like the string of lights is going around your wrist, but you can use clear too if you want it or any other color. And you're going to stick your hook down through that last one going to catch the band and bring it up like that and just kind of put both of them on the loom so you got it like that and you're just going to hold on to it and you're going to pull off the loom the light bulbs can be stubborn sometimes because they're looped around so many times And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. So this looks just like the one I put on Facebook, except I used two looms for this one. So you can see the extender is not that long on it. It goes most of the way around my wrist. And this is how long it'll be if you just use one loom. But you can definitely do it with one loom, and it looks great. And so from here on out, you're just going to add however many you need as an extender. Uh, once again, I use green so that it looks like a continuation of the cord, but you can use any one you want. And you're just going to loop them through to get it however long you need it to be for your necklace or your bracelet or your ring or anklet or whatever you're making with it. And then when you get to the end, you're just going to secure both together with the C-clip. And so there you go, the Christmas lights bracelet which is a variation of the confetti crisscross pattern by Rainbow Loom. So I hope you enjoyed and have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks. Bye.